On first down, the handoff to Marlon Mack. Huge hole, 50 yard line. He's at the 40, still going near sideline. He's at the 10, he's at the 5, and he will score. Touchdown, Marlon Mack. Touchdown, INDY. And again, it's picked up. It's Darius Leonard. Leonard with his second INT, and he's streaking down the near sideline. He's at the 40, he's at the 30, he's at the 20. He's going to go. A pick six for the Maniac. Kenny Moore gets to Deshaun Watson. That's a sack for Kenny Moore. Kenny has a pick and now a sack in the game. Horseshoe is back, baby. The horseshoe is back. Welcome back to another edition of the Bring the Juice podcast. We are your hosts, Cody Felger and Derek Larger. And the Indianapolis Colts just wrapped up their 2020 NFL draft. They selected nine players in total and added to their offensive line group in the fifth round by selecting six foot four, 300 pound Ball State offensive lineman Danny Pinter. Uh, I'll also add that he's the first Ball State player to be drafted in the NFL since 2014. So congratulations, Danny. And Danny joins us now. Uh, Danny, thanks for coming on the show, man. Uh, How does it feel to finally be done with this whole draft process uh, and to stop wondering kind of where your next home will be? How does it feel to finally have a home here in Indianapolis? That, yeah, that's definitely a great part. Um, you know, the, you know, you do the whole process with, you know, so much uncertainty um, and just <laughs> not knowing. So, you know, to have this figured out um, and have know where I'm going to go, where it's going to be, who it's going to be with um, is, Definitely a good feeling because now, you know, you can just transition to focusing purely on the team and uh, football aspect of it. Yeah, Danny, thanks so much again for being on. Uh, Obviously, when Chris Ballard was talking about them selecting you in the fifth round, they even talked about, you know, potentially moving up to get you. Uh, Were you surprised based on, you know, who you were talking to that the Colts took you in the fifth round? Uh, not necessarily. You know, you, you, when you go into it, I mean, hey, you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, you, you don't have all the information there. So you kind of have to go in with an open mind. But they, I had spoken with the Colts several times leading up to the process. Um, and, you know, they were a team that we knew had some interest. So when they called, um, I mean, obviously it's a surprise no matter what in some sense, just because you're never fully expecting it. But they're definitely one of the teams that we had pegged out as uh, having interest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Danny, you played football at Adams High School, which is in South Bend, um, so staying in Indiana, and then you stayed in state, played for Ball State in college. So I'm curious now, what goes through your mind knowing that from high school to college, now to the pro level, you've been able to stay in Indiana and play football your basically your entire football career? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's crazy. I don't think, you know, I don't think a lot of the guys can say that. Um, so to me, it's definitely a blessing. I mean, I love Indiana. Um Everywhere I've been, um, it's just been surrounded by a lot of great people um, who have, you know, helped me so much to get to this point. Um, so, you know, to stay close to that um, and stay connected to, you know, these communities that have helped me, it's it's a really cool feeling. Um, and like I said, you know, a lot, not a lot of guys can say that. So I definitely feel lucky to have this um, opportunity like that. Yeah. So obviously, Danny, you were a uh, tight end in high school when you started out. Then you transitioned to being a lineman in college. I think most Colts fans, when we watched you being uh, drafted, we saw the clip that ESPN posted of you catching a pass as an offensive lineman and running it in for a touchdown. So it certainly still looks like your tight end uh, qualities are still there. Uh, why did you end up transitioning uh, from tight end to offensive line? Could you like take us through the process of how that went down? Yeah, so it was in 2017, I was playing tight end, um, and it, that year we had a bunch of injuries all over, so I was starting at tight end, but also taking some reps as the emergency tackle, just because we had so many injuries on the offensive line, um, and I was doing a lot of blocking as a tight end, so um, kind of put the idea in my coach's mind, and then at the end of the season, you know, he just approached me and said, hey, like, we need a tackle for next year, uh, we think we think this moves in the best interest of both the team and you, um, and asked my thoughts about it, and yeah, just fully embraced it and went from there um and it was certainly you know a process to get to this point um just a lot of work that went into it but uh it was a cool transition to do um and something that I definitely look back on and I'm thankful that it happened Mm -hmm. and Danny I'm curious staying on that topic uh now going into the NFL what advantages do you think playing tight end kind of gives you as an offensive lineman yeah, well, the number one thing, you know, I made the switch was uh, I wanted to, you know, keep the athleticism. I'm trying to keep that as an advantage of mine. So 
that kind of came with, you know, putting the weight on the right way, that sort of thing. So you could still, um, you know, keep those benefits of that. And then, you know, from a kind of a football IQ standpoint, um, you know, as a tight end, you got to see a lot more parts of the field. Um, you know, you got to see coverages and how rotations work and that sort of thing. So that's something that when I switched over to the offensive line, I felt like I had a really good um, basis of like the whole understanding of an entire defense and how that all works. So I think that's something that really helped me um, from like the football IQ standpoint. Yeah, so Danny, I am a BGSU alumni, uh, so obviously staying in the MAC here, I think I was just leaving college when you were just getting started or when you obviously just started getting into your role that you had with Ball State. Um, What was your experience like at Ball State in their football program, and what were some big things that you learned being an offensive lineman there? Yeah, Ball State was awesome. I mean, really, I I look back on that experience, and I, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, you know, just the the coaches and the teammates there. Um, you know, it's just it's a special culture. Um, and so, you know, for for me and my senior class, it was something that when we came in there, it wasn't a great culture. Um, then we got new coaches, and it's really been like a a turnaround. Um, in the last five years since I got there. Um, and so I think this last year we we took a lot of steps forward. Um, and this next year I'm kind of kind of excited to see, you know, how they take off. I think, I think the platform's laid and they can take off and yeah, just playing O line there. I mean, it was awesome. We had an awesome group. Um, you know, there's definitely a culture of the offensive line and that was certainly the case there. So I felt really connected with them. Um, and just felt like, you know, the coaches were awesome. They definitely helped me become a better player and a better person and helped me get to this point. So my, yeah, my time at Ball State was awesome. Yeah. And Danny, we we already mentioned, um, you know, the transition from tight end to offensive lineman, but you primarily played offensive tackle at Ball State. But now kind of listening to what the Colts and Chris Ballard have envisioned you in, um, it kind of looks like they plan to play you potentially at guard or center. Um, so I'm curious, since you've already transitioned before to a new, to a new position, um, what is that experience drawing from your BSU days? Um, having gone through this before, how do you think that gives you an advantage to being confident and handling this position change well and as seamlessly as possible? Yeah, no doubt. I think it definitely helps. Um, you know, I think, you know, going from a tight end to tackle is a little more dramatic than going from a tackle to guard or center. Um, so I think, you know, doing that um, and just knowing that, you know, it was something that I was capable of doing and eventually did um, and just, just, you know, the process it took to make that happen, you know, just how many hours you had to put in the film room, um, and just, just the extra work you have to put in um, is something that, I mean, I know how that works. I know what worked for me and what didn't. So I think that's something that can really carry into this this next progression for me. Um, it's something I've already started doing. I mean, I've known it was a reality to move inside for a while now. So, you know, I've been snapping for a long time, working out of a guard stance for a long time. So I, I think making that move certainly uh, helps this next transition. All right, so Danny, obviously, you know, uh, being selected by the Colts, they've had a lot of uh, coaching changes over the recent years, and we have uh, a bunch of new offensive uh, players here, especially with Phillip Rivers now being under center, most likely. How do you think that you can help contribute to this new look offense that the Colts fans are going to see in 2020? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a group I'm excited to come and be a part of. I mean, you know, there's a lot of really great players um, on that offense that, you know, well known well across the league. So right now my mindset is just come in and work as hard as I can um, and just do it at whatever they need me to do, whatever my role needs to be um, is what I'm going to embrace. But I, my plan right now is just keep it simple and just work as hard as I can to, you know, be the best player I can be and come in there and compete. I mean, I'm a competitive person and I obviously want to compete to play. Um, so that's certainly the goal. And then however that shakes out, um, just whatever role they need me to play is what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. And Danny, I'm curious with your style of play, um, how do you think that fits well into what the Colts like to do with their offensive scheme? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think athleticism is something that they um, that they told me they like about me, and something they utilize, um, you know, with their offense. So um, I think I think that's something that'll translate well. And you know, I'm excited, you know, just a chance to learn from all these other guys that have been in the offense for a little while now, um, and just just pick their brain on whatever they think. Um, you know, will help me. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm most excited for is just to come in here and learn as much as I can. Um, Cause you know, they've been doing in that offense for a while and some guys that are, are just great players. So um, yeah, I'm just excited to get to work. Uh, so obviously we know Chris Ballard really likes uh, people who can offensive linemen that can play multiple positions. Uh, we had that in Joe Haig before uh, he signed with Tampa Bay this off season and, you know, you you being able to transition obviously helps. 
and with the way that the Colts are wanting to run the football, that's kind of their philosophy. Um, talk about your versatility and how you think that helps to bring uh, some stability to the interior of the Colts offense. Yeah, the versatility is definitely, you know, what I've tried to sell myself as um, throughout this whole process. Um, so, I mean, I spent a lot of time, um, you know, learning all the learning all the positions on the offensive line. So, um, you know, I think it's, it's just the matter of being able to do them. So, that, that's certainly my goal is to just um, be able to play guard, center, or tackle if they need to go do that. Um, I think, like you said, you know, that's, that's some stability um, for whatever it needs to be because, um, obviously, you can't carry 15 linemen on the roster or something like that. Um, so, mm-hmm. Um, you know, just to have that versatility to fill in wherever I might need to or wherever, um, you know, whatever the best fit is. Um, it's something that I definitely uh, think will help. Mm-hmm. And Danny, you're, you're joining a pretty elite offensive line group that the Colts have. Um, is it exciting for you to be able to learn behind guys like Quentin Nelson, Anthony Costanzo, Ryan Kelly, and all those guys, uh, and to be able to contribute in a system that's been doing so well in the last few years? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I mean, you know, those guys are well-established names across the league. Um, you know, like guys like Quinn Nelson, like he's the best in the league. Like there's no doubt about that. So, you know, to have the chance to come and learn as much as I can and uh, hopefully fit in with them and be able to help contribute to, you know, what they've already established is something that definitely gets me excited um, and I'm, I'm definitely really looking forward to. Yeah, so let's talk about your strengths and weaknesses here, Danny. What are some some of your strengths that you feel you can bring, and what are some things you're looking to improve upon for this next season as you become a pro? Yeah, so, you know, strength, I think, you know, like I said, like my athleticism is definitely my biggest strength. Um, and I put, combine that with my football IQ and, uh, you know, just the way I like to play the game. Um, I think, you know, how you, how you play the game says a lot about you, so I try and, you know, reflect that and how I play with effort and that sort of thing. Um and so those are things that I think helped me. And then, you know, things I'm trying to work on, you know, since I made the switch over at offensive line, I'm always trying to hone in on my technique, um, just make that become more and more and more natural. Um, you know, and I think that that's just been a steady progression for me. And then, you know, trying to get stronger as well. I think, you know, I'm still still coming into the offensive line body. I mean, I've only been in it for two years. So just trying to continue to get stronger and translate that over to my game as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Danny, we talked about, you know, when Chris Ballard mentioned talking about you, um, you know, he mentioned, like Derek said, you know, just he wanted to trade up and he wanted to get you. Um, You know, how does that feel for you as a player, um, knowing that the Colts have so much confidence in you and Chris Ballard has raved about just how much he loved being able to have you on his roster? Um, How much confidence does that give you going into year one, just knowing that the Colts and Chris Ballard uh, really think that highly of you? Yeah, a lot. I mean, that's definitely an awesome feeling, you know, and you definitely want to go somewhere that, you know, it's the right fit for you and somewhere where they, you know, they see you as valuable. Um, So that, that's really, that definitely gives you a lot of confidence and it's good to go into that. So, I mean, for me, you know, it's just making sure that uh, I can prove to him that that's the right decision that, you know, he feels the right way for a reason. So for me, it's just coming in, working as hard as I can and, you know, trying to prove that and uh, make it the right choice for them. Mm -hmm. Well, Danny, we, uh, we certainly appreciate you coming on and, and giving us a little bit of insight into your world. I know it's been a crazy couple of days for you. Um, I'm curious now that you've signed, well, whenever you do sign your contract, what's going to be your first purchase as an NFL pro? Uh, that's, I don't know. I'm a pretty simple guy, to be honest. Um, so, you know, I'm thinking for the longevity. So I'm going to put most of my money away, live pretty simply. Um, I am going to have to buy a car because I don't have one. Um, but, you know, that. I'm not going to do anything too extravagant with that. So I haven't really thought that process out too much, but saving my main goal, which I know is the, the boring response, but uh, that's it's where smart, I'm at smart right response. now. It's a smart response. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Danny, we certainly appreciate you, man, g- giving us some time here to kind of pick your brain on, uh, on just your whole process of getting drafted and what you can contribute. You feel like to the Colts here in year one, we'll, we'll certainly be rooting for you, man. And uh, best luck this coming season yeah absolutely thank you i appreciate it take care man thanks you too